to your All Love K-Pop. If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-Pop musicians we love. The reason why K-Pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and Neve will be closely examining and exploring K-Pop through the musician's point of view. Oh my K-Pop! Indeed, listeners, it's Oh My k o p Time. That means we've got the one and only Neve with us. Hello. Hello. Brother, how are you doing, <laughs> mate, today? Ah, oh, great. Just, you know, feeling the, the rainy weather again because I just yeah. feel like every time... I, I mentioned about this, like, last week and the mm. week after, uh, before. Uh, <laughs> every time I appear on the show, it seems like it rains. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Every time. Because I... Was it raining? It didn't rain yesterday. No, no, it started raining today. Well, it started raining like starting like last night, mm. but technically it started like raining like this a uh, few hours ago. Very strange. Mm. Very strange. Are you feeling a bit rainy? Was that why? I don't know. Oh, oh my, why? my. I, I appreciate rain. I love rain. Mm. Um, but I find it kind of interesting because every mm. time mm. <laughs> we talk about raining. I know. Mm. That is very strange, actually. m m I wonder what's going to be like next week. I don't know. Do you like rain, Sam? I, I don't think I ever asked you. I like it when I'm inside. Mm. <laughs> But then if I'm busy like, and I have to walk around, mm-hmm. it's really annoying. Mm. Especially sure. when it's a lot of rain. Mm. Do you know why? Because I why always forget my umbrella. Oh. I always forget it. Oh. I always forget it. Every time I feel like I, I remember to br- uh, bring my umbrella in my mm. car or like everywhere I walk. Yeah. Um, five out of seven umbrellas that I bring, it breaks. Oh, It's really? like broken. Yeah. Interesting. You have yeah. bad luck with these. With umbrella. That's interesting. <laughs> Why? What, how, are you, what are you doing with them? I don't do anything. That's the, that's the point. It's, it's They just like, break by themselves. It's broken by somebody else or it's yeah. broken by, uh, by, by, I don't know, the car door. It's broken oh, by wow. me sometimes. Oh, wow. But Interesting. That doesn't happen that often, but yeah. Interesting. There's, the reason I hate rain is because I have a schedule. After the show, mm-hmm. I go home. I park my car at home mm-hmm. in a parking tower. Mm-hmm. And my umbrella is always in the back seat. I then walk to my studio, which is five minute walk, right? Right. And it's not raining. But then it starts raining and I have to walk home. But my umbrella is in my car, which is in the parking tower. Uh-huh. And it's like, then I have to go buy a new one. But you don't really want to buy a new one to walk five minutes. All right. <laughs> so every time, like tonight, I'm going to have more worries. I, I would say the clouds have a security camera just for us. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <clears throat> Always a very interesting start to the show. We, we, we start with very philosophical subjects. Right. <laughs> about rain. About, about rain. rain and yeah. dance. About, yeah, exactly. Um, dude, I've got a message for you. Uh, Neve, you Argen- Neve, Ar- <laughs> Neve Argentina says, Today it's Neve Peru's birthday. Can you please greet us? Happy birthday to amazing Neves like Pam. Neve. So it's the it's, uh, birthday of Neve Peru? Yes. Happy birthday, Neve Peru! Happy birthday! <laughs> yes, Neves, Latin America, unite! Happy Chuzak, uh, the Korean Thanksgiving for Happy both Chuzak. as well. Happy Chuzak. Neve Peru, I wonder how old Neve Peru is. Mm, um, let us know. Yeah, I wonder, mm-hmm. I wonder. It's interesting that the fans remember the day they formed these, you know, organizations as well. Right. It's I incredible. mean, I, mean I, I feel always like thankful for them to really organize their... The crew, even though Neve himself is really, I would say, um, not active mm. these days. Mm. But, you know, I just wanted to uh, borrow my body to tell you guys that Neve says that he's very happy and he, he loves you guys. There a we lot. go. There we go. A lot, a lot, a lot. Fantastic. Mm. Uh, brother, also, um, obviously, um, it's uh, Chuseok Korean Thanksgiving this mm. week. Yes. I know, yes. over the weekend as well. Mm-hmm. Do, are you, well, any plans? I'm sure the... I think this is going to be the busiest Chuseok uh, of my life because I, yeah. I don't think I'm going to have time to honestly rest. Mm. I just have so many things to take care of these days. Um, uh, it feels like it's going to take another a week or two, mm. maximum three weeks. And uh, Although uh, um, I am going to visit my parents and we're going to have mm. you know, a great time uh, eating out maybe. Uh, mom told me that she prepared some food, so I guess we're oh. going to have 
a good uh, a supper or oh. you know, a good meal together. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to my studio and do some meetings, work, yeah. paperwork. Is your mom a good cook? I'm sure your mom must be an amazing cook. She's really, I, I love her food. I just love her food, mm. uh, and she has. Uh, we would say like kun uh, son, you know, big hands yeah, yeah. Uh, when it comes to you know, organizing all the food. Um, so yeah, she said she prepares some uh, raw salmon as well, which is my favorite. Raw salmon. Yes, oh, I love raw salmon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love raw mm-hmm. salmon. Ah, oh, raw salmon, and the, what's the 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 the, the wh- white white, white sauce? sauce. <laughs> Oh, I know. I can't think of the name right now, but then you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure everyone knows what we're talking about. If you don't know, um, can't help you right now. <laughs> but it's the sauce that we dip in the uh, salmon, and it tastes like like heaven. It's one of my favorite. It's quite good. Is and that's also it's good when you put it on toast. It's good like just by itself. It's good as just like anything really on what rice. Can you, what can you say? We're talking mm. about salmon. Mm. It's it's hard not to like it. Oh man! Uh, in my opinion, okay. but yes. So you're gonna have the best Chuseok Korean Thanksgiving ever. Mm-hmm. I would say uh, four hours. <laughs> good. Love it. <laughs> Heavenly hours, and then uh, poof. It's gonna be amazing. But yes, I'm gonna enjoy salmon to the fullest. Well, have a wonderful one with, uh, obviously, um, your parents. It sounds like it's going to be good. Um, we, of course, have to move on from Salmon because uh-huh. we've got a show to do. Uh-huh. We've got a show to do. Yes, we um, do. Shall we talk <laughs> about this segment, please? Yes, sir. We will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, <laughs> and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yeah, we also need the listeners' participation during this time as well. Of course, during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be side tracks that we like by the artist. And uh, for today's K-pop musician, uh, send in a song by the artist you want to hear. Tell us why uh, you became their fan. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Absolutely, guys. And also, uh, me and Eve, we're doing a video message for one very, very lucky listener. Yes, so make we sure, will. So make sure you do uh, take part. Oh, by the way, people are, yeah, people, they're liking salmon. They like the salmon. Uh, they say invite you. So, yeah. yes, you're always invited. Really? Yes. To, to your mom's place. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Or we can set up another time to yeah. meet up and have like a salmon party. Dude, like raw salmon, cooked salmon, grilled salmon, salmon sandwich. Wait, and your mum's cooking it, right? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then it's okay. <laughs> then I say yes. I don't trust us oh. to do it. I don't trust us. <laughs> that, that's not going to turn out good. You're not good at cooking? I'm, I'm not even good at making cereal. I sound like I am good at something uh, like that either. has to do with cooking, yeah, but yeah. I'm sure I mentioned about this uh, yeah, yeah. In, a, in a super K-pop yeah. session, but yes. I am terrible. Me too. Cook. We, we, Neve's mum. Neve's mum. Mum. Neve's mum. I'm looking are you, are forward you, to it. Are you seeing this? Well, anyways, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll talk to her on the phone mm-hmm. one day. Good. Right. Um, cool. Uh, let's get on with today's K-pop musician of the day. Yes, sir. Today's K-pop musician is a uh, very talented one. Uh, Lee Jina. Oh, yeah. Uh, in 2013, she uh, debuted with her first album, The Invisible, Boise and God, in 2014 through K-pop star season four. Uh, she showed off her unique voice and unique musical talent and she made her face known to the public through that and she usually enjoy uh, composing and playing at the same time and she's a musician who's consistent with her work each album deals with various topics and uh, genres so she presents uh, that that unique style of music uh, that she possesses and in 2021 through the movie Children Are Happy I Didn't Silgopta she even debuted as a movie music director wow, mm. wow. She's called an artist that the artists praise uh, nicknames are uh, like keyboard uh, fairies uh, geniuses etc etc and she's a pop jazz singer songwriter with a unique voice and she knows how to express your feelings with uh, her own music and let's check out Ijna's music right now 
absolutely eating that. Oh, what a what an artist to talk about mm. today. Very, mm. very unique. Very mm-hmm. unique. So um, let, let's give some basic info, shall we? Uh, before an early debut, while well, she was in China Band with uh, Pak Hyun of uh, Contrabass, Cho Sung Jun of on drums, and An Jong Su on guitar, because of her unique voice. She was evaluate, evaluated for playing her voice almost like um, almost like a musical instrument. Um, when she orders, apparently, when she orders delivery food, people tell her to change her voice. She often hears uh, this uh, with from her parents, I think, as well. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. Um, uh. After traveling to New York alone for fifty days, she overcame a bit of a slump. She revealed her dream is to capture popularity and artistry together. Um, oh, gee, I didn't know this. She's married. She married a pianist in mm-hmm. 2019 mm-hmm. and joined the ranks of sold out artists. Mm. Uh, oh, which means as in she's married. So mm. she's not available. She's not available anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, she said she's never cursed in her life. Wow. Wow. Interesting. That's hard. That's, oh no, I can't even do one day, probably. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> October 14th and 15th in Seoul, 2023 Ijina solo performance, The Inner Heart of the City, will be held. Next month concert. Good. Mm, nice. All right. New music information. It's the double title track of the third full length album that's released on September 13th, 2023. It's been about five years since her second full length album, China's Restaurant Full Course. Oh. Uh, the keyword for the full album is city and uh, she participated in producing the entire album as well as writing composing and arranging all of the songs ah it's it's i don't know it feels like uh, it's so natural for her right yeah yeah uh and it captures uh Ijina's music world uh which has become deeper and richer uh various artists including ihori stella chang uh park Park Munchi and uh, Sara Kang, Sara Kang, Kang Sara participated in it, and the bass and drum that jump uh, tensely as if jumping into the unknown, and the piano solo part, which is delicate and, magnific- and magnificent, like a courageous girl's challenge, make the song fun, uh, and it's a song that depicts. Uh, the city as mystery village and where we live without our eyes and ears. The music video has a fairy tale like story against uh, the backdrop of uh, this vast nature. It does indeed. Mm. Um, fantastic. The amazing um, Ijina we're talking about today, I've got to say, an artist that I think all musicians admire. Mm. Because she's just so she's so uh, unique and she's such a genius, right? What any thoughts? From well, you? Uh, to continue with uh, what Sam's been uh, talking about, I I think she's really unquestionable uh, artist mm. when it comes to her musicality. You know, I, I would say uniqueness. Uh, this, the word unique. Uh, really fits her style and I also agree this is one of the points that I wanted to make about her music and her voice uh, especially she sounds like one instrument yeah. in each of her songs which means that her voice placing her her top lining which is like melody making uh, her her uh, how her brain works really works in a way that uh, if a musician would play uh, their instruments, right, musical right, right. instruments. So I, I thought it would be very, it, it would very, um, it varies. You know, her music really sticks out, mm. uh, and it feels like the melody itself is telling a story, which has to do with uh, delicate arrangement. Yeah, in uh, her her musical sections, I would say. So yes, she's very, very, very unique, and mm. and I love her, her uh, music too. Absolutely, I actually find that because obviously she's she's sort of um, a jazz pianist, right? Mm-hmm. I've 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 had the pleasure of working with some jazz pianists recently, or pianists who are more jazz rather than classical, right? Mm-hmm. The jazz pianists are so creative. Mm. Because I don't know, they they learn in a different way, more of a freedom, creativity, all of this they incorporate in their music, right? Right. And so I've realised that they are I don't know, there's something about them, and it works really well with pop music, mm-hmm. where it's just it's it can be a little bit different, a bit more creative. Ijina certainly mm. um, has that, and she's got the sort of the pianist mind. 
pianist mind when she's making music, I guess. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, the jazz music has to do with all of like this improvisation. Uh, yeah. And uh, the beauty beauty of improvising songs and melodies is that there's no answer. Right. Uh, but then when we write songs, as as you can feel as well, there are some kind of uh, rules that's applying right. to these days music, trendy music. But uh, what really got me with uh, Izuna's music is that her music doesn't have answer. Right. And it shows it very well. Yeah. It, it, it uh, really shows Izuna as a person and her answers yeah. to this musical universal yeah. question. You're right. Her music has no rules, I think. Maybe. Right. I think that's a good way to, to put it. Mm -mm. I love it. Well, do you know what? We're so excited. We got to listen to the to the the new song, shall we? Mm -hmm. This is Mystery Village by Izina. Mystery Village, <sighs> Ijina. It's, even the title of the song sounds like Ijina song. Right, I feel like I was uh, in another dimension. That's what she does to you. Mm. She, makes you she, she makes you feel like you're sleeping and you're having a crazy dream. Do you know what I mean? Right, I mean, the name of the song is Mystery Village. And it really uh, felt like it. I could see it in a, in a music. Her music is, I think it has to do with her uh, like movie kind of composing style uh, when mm. it comes to her songwriting. It just really, the thing about uh, musical writing is that you are, you have to be able to uh, really draw a picture in, in a music uh, in a way that it can show uh, its its colors very vividly. Now uh, these days, when you try that, uh, the I would say what you should be careful is that it has to also follow this uh, trend mm. in a modern word mm. uh, when you are competing I would say in a in a word of commercial yeah. realm uh, musical realm um, but Izina is really balancing everything so well mm. because it has this commercial uh, type of vibe yeah. to this song yeah. at the same time it's very musical at the same time it shows all the pictures that's that's needed mm. uh, that follows the lyrics and 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 follows the theme of the song. It's just I would say too amazing. <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's it's, gene it's yeah. very hard to kind of like it's, if you say write to Ijina song, right? We it'd be difficult to write for her. I wouldn't even start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's very difficult. Only I, she can write her music. Right, I would have to bring in some uh, film score yeah. writer yeah. to discuss. Actually, absolutely. Mm. Uh, everyone's writing in such nice comments, like such a unique style. Anna says excellent mix of fusion. Deborah says sounds a bit like jazz. Neve Argentina writes in. Lots of people have in their uh, um, comments on that. But we've got to go and listen to uh, some of um, uh, Ijina's more music listeners mm -hmm. um, because of time. We have to move straight on to this one. She's got three brilliant tracks that we're going to listen to and talk about. Okay? Yes. Let's go. Ooh. Song number one. Oh, so many things to love about this song. Mm -hmm. right. This is called Time Please Slow Down. Shigana Chonchani, uh, the Survivor Audition K-pop star season four released on November 23rd, uh, 2014. It's the first song, that the first official song of this show. And it's a sweet electric piano song, uh, feeling sorry for the time that goes by so fast and wishing that, you know, time slows down. And with outstanding performance, songwriting and arrangement skills, uh, Yang Hyun Seok, Park Jin Young, and Yu Hye, three judges were shocked. So, um, as a production crew and the viewers as well, Yu Hye's review at the time uh, was like this: I hear a lot of people asking me to recommend good songs. I think I can recommend Yi Jin song. 
That's a huge compliment. Yeah. Unfortunately, she finished the semi-final performance in a third place. Uh, but then, you know, her appearance on the show was uh, pleasantly shocking. It was mm. so shocking. And uh, this song, oh, I felt I didn't. I felt like I didn't want to talk because the introduction for this song is crazy. Right. Even even her vocal arrangement, voice arrangement. Yeah. How the, you know? When, I think this was the first song that she sang on the on the audition program. Yeah. Uh, and she, it's her original piece as well. I know, right? Uh, for somebody on an audition program to play her or his own songs, uh, needs uh, it takes lots of courage. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think she also had courage to do it, and then she excelled in it. Yeah, mm. judges' reaction really tells everything. No doubt about it. Mm. This song as well, special because I love her. Oh, we're talking too much, aren't we? I love her choice of. Um, What what notes she hits with her background with her backing vocals? Mm. Really interesting choices she makes. I guess um, something to do with her, you know, jazz piano background. I think probably. <laughs> um, let's listen to a bit more. Shigana Chanchani, time. Please slow down. Yes, this is so good. This is called Starry Night, 밤과 별의 노래 by Onyu and Ijina. Uh, it's a song that was released on August 12, uh, 2016. SM Station is a collaboration with various uh, artists, producers, and composers. It's a project that revealed various genres of music through new, uh, new uh, attempts. And this is the 27th song that was released uh, through this platform. And it's a song that was created through collaboration between SM and SM and Antenna and SM's production team and Antenna had uh, you here participated in the production process enhancing the completeness of a song and China uh, Ijina participated for singing and writing the lyrics with a dramatic keyboard performance and warm covering of songs uh, the Uh, based on contrabass sound, it's a pop jazz song that uh, reinterprets uh, the feeling of modern jazz, and it contains lyrical sensibility like a fairy tale in lyrics and melody. With all news, a uh, warm and sweet voice, Ijna's clear and dreamy uh, voice is in harmony. Just like one voice, and the lyrics of "Will be the light for each other in the dark world" uh, really shows the theme of the song. Yeah, man. I mean, this one again. It's kind of similar in that it makes you feel like you're off into a different world. Um, so many things to love about it. It's so warm and so cozy. Mm. And um, even though she's got a really unique voice, it's proof that she it does work with someone like On You together, right? Mm -hmm. It fits well together. Right. I mean, also it's a uh, same station's uh, attempt was like combining with this musical um, uh, new musical. Uh, realm with uh, what's already existed at the time, uh, like you know, I, I would say it's a very fine meetings of a trendy music yeah. with pop jazz style, yeah. and it, the song really, I, I love the song, yeah. genuinely, you know, it, it's, it's a genuinely great song. It's beautiful. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Um, these two in harmony, guys. Listen, on you and Ichina, Pangwa Pyore Nore, Starry Night.
Alright guys, we're on to song number three. <laughs> This is called Run uh, with Grey. Uh, title song, it's the title song of the full-length album released on June 26, 2018, uh, China's Restaurant Full Course. The album China's Restaurant started in 2016. Uh, this album is the com- uh, complete version of China's Restaurant Trilogy, and it's an album with a total of 13 tracks, uh, a comprehensive gift set uh, that can enjoy, uh, that's enjoyable uh, by China's emotions. It's a jazz hip hop song uh, that's that's combined with EDM and multi uh, producer Sam Oak. Uh, who is active in various genres in the US and other countries. And Ijina composed uh, this song together and producer and singer-songwriter Gray showed support with uh, his charming voice. And um, expressing uh, confused feelings about the word or you is a song that expresses the feeling of wanting to get out of the confusing feeling. Yeah, man. Oh, this song by Ijina. Do you know what? I remember, I still remember when this first came out. I was so shocked that she was she was trying something like this genre-wise, right? Right. And and, and this line, na 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 na, it's yeah. like very trendy. But then Ijina, when she sings it, it's uh, it's it's just it just gives you different vibes. Something new about it. Right. I love it. It's great. Uh, I love the music video as well. I I, I remember watching the music video of this uh, this song. And uh, at the time, they were trying this new motion uh, effect on on video styling. And uh, at the time, it was very new. Uh, and with new music style, new uh, music video uh, shooting style, uh, I would say it's it, it trended. Absolutely. On the Absolutely. I think I think this song kind of made people realize that Ijina. Um, obviously does her jazz thing but also now she's able to fuse that with other genres too mm. uh, to make to, even, to widen her spectrum even more I think this was this was an important song for her probably mm. back in 2018 right mm-hmm. uh, let's listen to a bit more with Grey it's called Run It's okay I'm a say that it's okay Cause it's okay So good, so mm. good. Uh, three of each has brilliant songs that we just had a listen to. I didn't realize Samok uh, produced this song as well. I could hear his uh, synth in it. Yeah, it's oh, it, very, it's yeah. very, very unique. Uh, his style. Oh man, uh, I sense like different country in it. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, it's cool. It's yes. cool. Um, <laughs> good, right, listeners. So, um, oh, lots of people writing in. By the way, um, uh, the, uh, talking about the second song, Nee Philippines says the title really suits their voices. Starry Night. Yeah, Onyu's also got a unique voice actually. Onyu, yes. The two of them working together is. Very cool. Very mm-hmm, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anna says, I'm kind of mind blown. Um, yeah. When you try to understand her music, maybe your mind can be blown, I think. Mm-hmm. All the songs sound so unique, Anna says as well. Mm-hmm. No two songs are the same. Completely agree with you on that one. Uh, Nee Philippine says, Her voice is so cute, makes me think about uh, mochi. Mochi? Mochi? Mochi tea? Mochi. Oh, mochi, mochi tea? Like, a, like a Japanese style of maybe. Uh, rice cake. Ah, her voice is like Japanese rice cake. I like that. Mm. That's a good way to describe Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Good. (laughs) And uh, lots more people writing in as well, which is nice. By the way, guys, if you didn't know already, we'd love you to write in with the Ijina songs, please. Mm. Mm. So whatever song you want to listen to. Yes, please send in the song by them that you want to hear. And also tell us about the reason why Mm. you became their friend. And also another cool thing is me and Neve, we are, we're doing a video message for one very, very lucky listener. Yes. So keep that in mind. Yes. Okay, um, dude, um, I don't know how much time I need to give you. Do you need a lot of time? Because we've got some time to talk about your song choice. Uh, we do. Maybe you need 10 minutes. Oh, 
We need 10 minutes? No, all right. It's all right. You've got three minutes. You okay. can talk about it. Okay. That could be long. That could be short at yeah. the time. Because, you know, I have lots of things to say about Lee Jina's voice. As I mentioned before, her voice is just like um, uh, an instrument. And I was trying to imagine what kind of instrument uh, really shows her voice. Mm. I would really say I came to a simple conclusion. Mm. Piano. Yeah. Her voice... Uh, melody line is really just like what the piano soloist would do in in any kind of like genre uh, mm. song, uh, any genre of songs, mm. and uh, you know the half note uh, going down and chromatic scales that she uses, uh, all the choices that she makes when she improvises on on any piece uh, of work that she did. Uh, it just really made me feel that she realized that she's a very, very talented musician. But at the same time, uh, I thought that she's a she's like a professor. Mm. She has the professor vibe when it comes to um, her as an artist because uh, she, uh, to me, always is in a. Uh, gave me this vibe of teacher professor because yeah. uh, she I could tell that she studies a lot in her choices when I say choices it could be uh, choosing the theme it could uh, for one music or it could be choosing the melody lines that she goes for mm. uh, it could be the lyrical decisions that she goes for the enunciation choices the rhythms of her vocal production uh, appearance and um, even uh, mixing style even the mastering style yeah. in music you know when when I say mixing the music is that you know placing and then voicing and volume Voluming all the elements that's uh, composed of uh, in one specific music, uh, it's about balancing the music. I would call that mixing and mastering. You know, uh, uh, when you uh, mixed all the songs, you you know master the song, which is like coming to uh, making it uh, into a final production. And uh, why I'm saying this is that Ijina's actually. Uh, I could tell that she's involved in every step of this musical process, making mm. her, you know, the mastermind, I yeah. would say. Um, and I brought this song called Maum Dero, My Own Way. Uh, it's released in 2014. It's written by her. And uh, she sang this as a second piece uh, uh, when she appeared in um, uh, K-pop Star, right? Right, right, mm -hmm. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Season four. And... Uh, this is really a song about uh, if you miss somebody, don't try to do something with it. Just, you know, leave it as it be mm. and as it is. And uh, it's uh, inspired by this specific movie. I can't think of the name yet, uh, right now. But then um, this song. Uh, apart from everything that I uh, mentioned about, this song is very simple. Mm. It's very, very simple, yet it's very precise. Uh, her choices, again. And it follows the theme very well. It shows how Izina is Izina. You know? so, and genuinely, I just love the song. Good. <laughs> so I wrote the song for you guys. I love it. Well, dude, I'm so looking forward to hearing to hearing it. Shall we? Uh, shall we listen? Yes, sir. This is called "Mom Dero My Own Way" by Ichina.
무슨 생각을 하고 있나 너 바보 같은 내 맘을 알까요 What a choice, what a choice. Uh, Mound at a Mine Way by Ijina that we just had a listen to. Beautiful song choice, beautiful song. Mm-hmm. Um, good. Right, um, we have got uh, some messages from our listeners. Right, mm. should I go first? Yes, mate. All right, Wendy sends a message saying, Hi, Sam and Yves. To sum it up, uh, Ijina is a genius. Every time she sings and plays, she's like a fairy who's uh, leading us into a great adventure book, uh, especially with her comeback song and the song Rum Pum Pum. Uh, I'll add random story night uh, featuring Onyu and Yum 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 to the list. Also, I think it's nice to listen to her OST Do 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 in the bus uh, or while walking in town. Uh, have a lovely afternoon, guys. Thank you so much. All the songs that you recommended has a very unique yeah. <laughs> title. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, good. We've also got, oh, that was Wendy, right? I've got yes. Benny writing into us as well. Who says, uh, Ah, Ijina, she is probably one of the best solo artists these days when it comes uh, to being a multi talented artist who sings, also being a brilliant jazz pianist. I can say we love her, and everybody will express their inner fanboy when she sings at a concert. Um, song selections that I'd love to choose are the following Pebula, I'm Full, Every Day, Awake featuring Sam Kim, Gumgatan uh, Alam, Dreamy Alam, Yohenge Gutezan, End of the Journey with Stella Jang, Yum Yum Yum, uh, Yum Yum Yum, Rebooted Version with Tak, Uri uh, Shijak, We Are with Sam Kim, Chung Sung Hwan, uh, Chai Azar, Yusu Jung is a Korean name, and Kwon Jina, Pam Gwa Pyore Nore, Starry Night with Onyu of Shiny from SM Station. You will enjoy how she performs at concerts and enjoy the tracks of her during the Chuseok Korean Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks, Benny. Great choices as well. Good songs there. Nice. Uh, right, we have pretty much run out of time for today, listeners. Yes, uh, have you? What what mm. song have you brought for us, Sam? I actually brought a song, which at, I, I was looking on YouTube here. Somebody mentioned this song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hannah says, My Whole New World by Ijina, please. That's my song that I chose. Mm. My Whole oh. New World. Um, immediately, the, the title of the song sprung out to me because I know what her music's like. It's very sort of takes you into like a different fantasy like world, right? Mm. And um, I thought, oh, this song might be one of those songs. And oh, man. I was not mistaken listening to it. It's just be- there's something about her music which is um, um, a lot of it which is like it's almost it's almost too beautiful. Like it's scary how beautiful it is. It's like haunting a little bit. Right. Like you know how sometimes in a scary movie mm-hmm. there are beautiful moments mm-hmm. where it's silent. It's kind of like I feel like that when I listen to her music. There's something a bit eerie about it at the same time. True there. Um, and um, this is one of those songs. So I thought I'd play that. Um, play this one for you guys actually my whole new world um, looks like lots of listeners know about this song actually which is um, which is great I'm scrolling the wrong, wrong way up here we go we're going down yeah <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so there we go um, yeah Rusty writes in a kind of music for me is the type I can enjoy at a jazz music festival too oh imagine her at, like because obviously there's one big jazz festival in Korea mm. every year oh, she'd be she's perfect for that you mm-hmm, know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, cool alright guys we pretty much run out of time um, dude next week next week we're going to be talking about mm. amazing Jung Young Hwa Jung Young Hwa of course of CM Blue mm-hmm. um, he is you know what he is somebody who I think has done something important for Korean music with CM Blue um, true, true right yes can't wait to talk all about it. That should be a, a lot of fun. Uh, guess, all right, Neve, well, oh, Chuseok, have a great Korean Thanksgiving. You too, Sam. Have a great Chuseok, and we're going to get it together. Yeah. Uh, have some salmon one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I might turn up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my salmon? Uh, good stuff, indeed. Uh, listeners, we'll see you, Neve, next week here on the show. Thank you very much for joining us today. That is pretty much all we've got time for. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. This is Super K-Pop. I'm your host, Sam Carter. The last song we're going to play... Uh, uh, my choice from uh, EG now, it's called My Whole New World, and uh, we shall say goodbye for now. Bye bye, universe. Love you so much. Bye. Happy choose up.
I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page. <laughs>